Morning, painters and decorators of the interweb. Anybody who's into DIY, anybody who's into a bit of painting at home, doesn't matter. It's Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator, back with a really unusual one. You know, it's a little bit of, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Quick phone call yesterday from somebody said, oh, I've got a job. I've got a job at a new paint supplier in Nottingham. I says, oh, where's that? And he goes, round the corner from you. And I went, how round the corner from me? Literally, if I could talk in um, yardage for golf, I could get a driver out. I'm not saying it's going to be a par five, but about a par 15, I could probably hit a golf ball to my house. Well, you know what I mean? It's, it's in spitting distance. So you're going to say to me, Phil, where is this place? Well, this place is down on the new Teal Industrial Estate down at Colic Stroke Stoke Bardolf in Nottingham. Now, if anybody knows Nottingham well, Stoke Bardolf, yeah, you know where the sewage um, plants are? Oh, it's a bit smelly. It's not smelly today. Now, they built a new industrial estate. It's at the back of Victoria Retail Park, Netherfield. Between Netherfield, Colic, Stroke, Burton Joyce, you know where I mean. You've probably seen it as you've drove by. Now this place has got multiple new businesses. Down at the bottom end, you've got Howden's, you've got a screw fix, you've even got a double glazing UPVC, I think it's Trent Valley windows. And then you come across, there's two more units here that are, are empty at the moment. And then we come to Paintwell. Now, I don't know whether you've ever heard of Paintwell. I'd never heard of Paintwell before. Now, Paintwell are more up north. Now, their parent company is Brombra Paints. Now, you've probably heard of them. Paintwell are starting to come down the country, and this is the first one really in the East Midlands. Now, a paint shop's a paint shop, isn't it? I don't think it is. You're going to ask me, what makes this different from anywhere else? I'm going to say to you, this to me, because I've been in, I've dropped off my forms for setting up an account, because we popped down, popped down yesterday. What makes this different is virtually a one-stop shop for your paint supplies. And you're going to say, what do you mean, Phil, one-stop shop? Do you know what? One-stop shop, this is what you want. They sell everything. They've even got Farrow and Ball. <sighs> but don't worry, we're still like Ivana at Living HQ, so that is our main supplier of Farrow and Ball. Yay! Ivana will be on another video coming soon when we talk about French Chic. That's coming up. Right, back on track. They've got Heritage, they've got Crown, they've got Ordinary Dulux, they've got Jono's, you name it. I think they've got it in here for you and stroke me, which is great. So without further ado, I'm gonna go inside and show you what it's like. Now, I think I was probably one of the first painters and decorators in here yesterday. Now it's early morning, it's probably just gone nine o'clock on a Tuesday morning, cold winters, January morning. And I'm gonna go inside, warm up and show you what they've got. I'll introduce you to the team members that they've got there and um, if this is of interest to you in the Nottingham area for a paint supplier that's probably got everything you're needing under one roof come and check it out and before I go on I'm not sponsored nobody's giving me anything it's more of a case I'm really interested that we've got a paint supplier in Nottingham local to me that can supply us with the paints that we want and you're going to say, Phil, what's the paint you want? Well, I'm going to show you inside. So without further ado, I am going inside. See ya. Look at this, trade and retail. One in the open, let's have a look. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, closed on a Sunday. But really, we're open from seven in the morning till five. And then Saturday is eight till 12, which gets us out the um, proverbials doesn't it when we're um, running a bit short on stuff and we need to pop down on a Saturday morning brilliant so we're um, inside this is a retail unit of about 3,800 square feet 
I'll get that checked in a minute when I have a word with the um, manager. He'll probably tell us a little bit more about it. But for you and me, we're not interested about how big the place is. We want to know what paint's in here. So let's have a quick whiz round and see what the supplying is with paint. Because as I said outside, this is a one-stop shop for your paint supplies. And for me, what's the main paint work we want to be working with? This. They've got Tigorilla. Oh, they've got Tigorilla. Anti-Reflex 2 is the best sealing paint you can get. Let's argue it. Comments below. But this is the best paint for ceilings. Not arguing that. Right, let's come back in. What have we got here? We've got Dulux. We've got the Heritage range in Dulux covering all the colours. We've got a Heritage mixing machine over there. Brilliant. Heritage Velvet Mat. I'll do a link to there. You'll see a link in that corner. Really impressed with that when I used it on a kitchen um, a month or so ago. So I'll be using that again um, on a job coming up in the next um, week or so. All right, let's move around here. You've got your ordinary Dulux colours, obviously you can still mix that. You've got the Crafted by Crown, that's a little bit like the heritage sort of fancy paints that Crown are doing at the moment. The big one for me, I love Farron Ball, you know I love Farron Ball, and as, as I said, we do love Ivana at Living HQ in Nottingham as well, who supplies um, Farron Ball. But if you're needing something, it's all in here. They've got all the colours you want. You've got your estate emulsions, you've got your estate eggshells. You've got your flat um, eggshells, you've got your glosses, you've got all the paints you want. They'll probably even, probably, I won't, I'd be a bit surprised if they've got the KC and Distemper, but that's something they can get in. But again, they've got all the Farron Balls and they've got a Farron Ball mixing machine. So don't be faffing around going to B&Q and finding that they've not got the colours you want you come somewhere like this, or even if on at Living HQ, they'll probably have uh, more of a selection. So we've got that. Now the big thing for me, oh, Farron Ball. I've got the Farron Ball wallpapers as well. These are brand spanking new books. Can't even undo it, it's that new. And you know, I love Farron Ball wallpapers. There you go, look. got those so they can supply you that as well and the new natural history colors as well we've spoke about that I've got a video on Farron Ball that corner there should be able to link you to that discussing the different paints with with Ivana that was a great video right my next one that we're coming across to they have Tikarilla now for us that's going to be a lifesaver because Tikarilla are based in Scotland, well the parent company of Tickerilla for supplying in the UK is up in Scotland and um, you have to order it in, it has to be delivered, you've got um, next day delivery at a certain time it's going to cost you. So if they can supply us Tickerilla, we can knock that on the head can't we? If it all comes down to price, remember it all comes down to price everybody. It's by the by. Right. They've even got a, look at this, a touch screen connected to the interweb, showing Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator on YouTube. How coincidental is that? It's there, look. Brilliant. So we've got Tikarilla. Let's have a spin round on this one. Anti-reflex. We've even got I'm going to flip you over. Another great paint, Tikarilla Optiva 5. I just think they've got, we'll go down the aisle, we've got Optiva 3s and we've got Jokers and things like that. Right, apart from that, we've also got all the other main brands. We've got your Leyland, you've got your Jonos, got your Cover Plus Matte, you've got your Dulux, the, the one everybody will go for because they all know the name, they all think of the dog. Yeah, the dog's on the side got the Dulux, we've got the Macpherson's, so we're covering all your big product paints. Now I've been told they've had 77 pallet loads of materials come into this unit in the last few weeks to stock all up. 
and you've got your sundries you've got your surface protections for your floors you've got your your plastic is sheeting you've got your x board you've got your hand wipes you've got your hippo um, flooring protections you've got your corks you know the sausage tube corks this is all big thing at the minute the sausage tubes so you've got your eco friendliness of not having all the plastic um, tubes to be thrown away you got your filling knives you've got all your things you'd think you're going to be getting in a one-stop shop for a painter and decorator and a DIYer or somebody who's going to do a bit of work at home you got your main brands of filler your stain block anybody who's on about how do you stop stains I've got to say this never fails polycell stain block never fails when you've got watermarks or things that you want to just get rid of right let's have another look right cork oh one time red devil cork that is brilliant you know I'll do a lot of spraying this stuff it's off within about 25 minutes I've never had any issue with any paints um, going over it that's crazed or cracked you know when you cork up around your skirting boards or anything like that brilliant stuff really good price on those um, I think it retails about two pounds something a tube but if you're on a discount with your um, supplier particularly here paint well you'll get that a bit cheaper if you're in the trade you've got your wood fillers you've got all your solvite stuff oh we're seeing some murka we've got murka things you've got the murka sanding pads and as you know Merca discs you can never get those when you want them but here they are oh and they've got the ambronette ones for the little um is it the deros dios it's the dios that isn't it the hand sander so we've got the hand sander oh, please cover this up cover this up pva should not be used by a painter and decorator so don't use that only use pva if you're doing a bit of wetting in on the back of chopping out something that you're going to be filling never use that for sizing brand spanking new bare plaster walls for wallpapering it's bad it's bad practice please <laughs> terrible but pva has its place but it not in the place of the painter and decorator for wallpapering and um ceiling walls don't use it it's it's not alkali resisting and it also um well <laughs> I've spoke about this times many it's a bad product to use for painter and decorator but you've got your sugar soaps you've got your fungicidal washers you've got your putty that's another thing a lot of people don't know about oil based um, oil based it's linseed oil putty that's for glazing you've got your tack rags you've got your bin liners can't say enough you know when you're trying to clean up a job and you can't um, can't find any bin liners on the back of your van right tapes oh you've got your hand three 3m hand maskers oh it's not a 3m but you've got a hand masker you've got your drop sheet polythene dust sheets precision tapes pro deck oh 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 this is a new brand of low tack tape not heard of this one if you've used this before give some comments give us some likes this is something i might have to try out because we do use the q1 tapes which i'm really happy with so is this on a par with Q1? I'm not sure, so that's something I've got to try out. Um, oh, brush mates had these oh, 30, 40 years we have. Don't use a lot of oil based paints anymore, but if you've got oil based paints and you need to keep them active because um, you don't want them setting up, this is what you'd be putting your oil based paints in. There's a chemical solution in there that takes out the oxygen in the box. That stops them drying out because it's obviously the reaction with the paint with the oxygen dry stuff out but I say I've got one of these I've had it since I've been in the trade 30 years it was another member of staffs before mine and I think Brian who works for us and my dad who's still working they've also got these and my dad was probably one of the first ones to ever have one of those so that could easily be a 30 40 year old product that we've got and they're brilliant but now we've moved on we don't do a lot of water based um, sorry a lot of oil based paints now right you've got a, a a Wagner you've got a steam stripper don't use steam strippers very often because we find that hot soapy water or warm soapy water depending on the environment you're working in um, can normally get most things off so that's that uh, there's your brush mate solution fluid that goes into one of those stops the air getting in that's the refill packs brilliant when I was at college 
so I'm going back early 90s I had one of these for my oil based paints because I didn't use the college brushes I had my own I took my own brushes um, I didn't like using the college brushes I took my own and um, yeah I kept them in a well it was the baby they called it like a baby brush mate at the time so there we are right oh offler right this is when when we talk about getting wallpaper off this is what you use for getting most stuff off wallpaper anybody who knows this is what a stripping wallpaper stripper knife is brilliant you've also got your snap off blades um, when you're doing wallpapering I've got that I don't use the little craft knives they're too delicate they're not strong enough for me so I use one of those for wallpapering I've got a straight edge and then there's your black snap off blades brilliant they've got other things there as well so sanding pads oh, brilliant oh it's like a kid in a sweet shop so different sanding pads these are wet and dry sanding pads you can use them in water ideal if you're doing finishing off with your spraying or anything um, painting wise just want to nib down so we're covering everything there let's have a let's have a stop on that and I'll spin around to what they've got on paints right so see you in a second back with you had to have a breather then because my arm was aching I was talking too much so I'm just going to go down some of the aisles before I go back to the last bits of sundries down there and show you what you've got because I don't want to say I'm really excited that they've got Tickerilla but I'm really excited they've got Tickerilla they've got 2.7s which is your three litre tubs of Tickerilla you've got your Helmies you've got your Otex Akvas Helmi 80 you've got your Everol Primers you've got your Everol 80s Everol Aqua is the one you can use inside and outside that's one on a previous video yeah I've shown you how to do um, spraying on the staircase you got your smaller tins you come down you got your I can't even pronounce this is it I call it the Mali Sipu or something that's a cleaning agent so if you're cleaning kitchens down you dilute that down wash it down uh, and then rinse it all off that's a good cleaning agent Let's just spin you around so we can talk about it. You've got your, you've got your lacquers, you've got your Nova 2, which is like an ordinary emulsion, you've got your Super White, you've got your Everolica 10, you've got your Otex, that's your oil based. Otex Aquavis the water based, which is there. Then you've got your Otex, which is your, um, that's the water based, that's the oil based. Um, you've got your Helmy, which is your undercoat. We're coming down to Joker that's like your eco-friendly paint they've got bigger tins of that up there you've got your Nova 20 your Mirinol which is your all um, oil based glosses Empire not tried that Kiva 10 not tried that you know, these are more your um, varnishy stuff you've got your multi-stop which is supposed to stop knots but it needs a good couple of coats you've got Ultra Primer Optiva Primer brilliant look at this little tins of Optiper Primer Fingard which is your masonry paint you got your um, Optiver Primer ideal for your bare plaster walls very bare plaster when I'm spraying it I do put a bit of water to it but you don't need to and they have and I did think when I saw the Optiver 5 they've got you've got your Optiver 3 ceramic as well so we're covering all all the bases really for Tickerilla so if you've never if you're a new painter and decorator or just getting into it Tickerilla is a, a brand that's a Scandinavian company specialising in water-based paints and um, we actually moved on to Tickerilla from Dulux so a good number of years ago because we were sick of the flashing with Dulux, Dulux matte. Now that said, Dulux Heritage, and as I've um, told you I've got a bit of a link, Dulux Heritage is a beautiful paint so Dulux have pulled it back with that range. I've not tried the matte, um, vinyl mattes because I know what it was like in the past so that's why we moved over. Here we have got all your Dulux products, you've got your diamond mat, you've got your aluminium wood primer. Aluminium wood primer, now outstanding ceiling, that is the one, I take it that will be the leafing primer, aluminium wood primer. That will be the one that if you want to stop knots on hardwoods, um, sorry you don't get knots on hardwoods, but if you've got knots you can use aluminium um, leafing primer which will be that. But if you've got hardwoods and resinous woods, which it even says there, that's what you want to be coating up your, um, your woods with. And again, it does stop knots. Right, 
we've got your water-based so you've got your quick drying water-based undercoat primer you've got your all-purpose primer that'll be oil-based which says solvent that's right you've got diamond match you've got diamond eggshells you've got your vinyl match you've got five liter tins you've got your soft sheens we're covering everything aren't we we've even got oh look at this high gloss that's obviously oil we've not used that for a long while don't use that very often at all and then you go to your your metal shields you've got all your dulux trade range now this is dulux trade if you get confused between dulux trade and dulux retail retail paints normally have a proper picture of a dog bigger than that and there's a picture of a dog now the difference between a trade paint and a, a retail paint trade paints can be thinned they're a bit more thicker better coverage retail paints geared up for the diy that probably would struggle applying um your paints that are a bit thicker so that's why they gear it up for the DIYer and they call it a retail paint not saying some of the retail paints aren't good because some of them might be suitable but you'll probably find that something like a, a diamond mat um, oh, so let's call it a diamond mat might be called in a retail paint a kitchen and bathroom paint and that sort of thing they, they alter the names so again right you got your bigger tins there I think we're covering all the Dulux I'm gonna spin across to this side where we've got oh can we go wrong with Zinza right let's quickly you've got Zinza bin you've got cover stain you've got the one two three you've got the one two three plus you've got the guards and you've got the peel stop right for those that don't know and they get it really confused shellac based thinner methylated spirit cover stain because that's your bin that's your red bin your yellow cover stain oil based thinner white spirit blue thinner water based water dead easy then you've got guards which is brilliant that you can put over bare plaster when you've got problem surfaces have I got a bigger tin so when you've got um, problem surfaces it's alkali resistant primer that is ideal this isn't PVA don't let anybody tell you that that is PVA PVA is not alkali resistant this is that's the difference and then you've got peel stop now peel stops a bit a little bit like um, oh stabilizing solution you can actually use peel stop outside you can't use that outside you can use this outside you can't use that outside now peel stop if you've got um, paints that's a bit peeling and flaking and also um, it holds uh, it binds chalky surfaces you can read the tin like I can as well glues down old paint surfaces seals cracks and crazing so that's very similar but that you can use outside that's an inside one so obviously read the back of the tins a lot of information is on the back of the tins so you've got those there your main things you've got your brush cleaners and restorers um, that's all your main stuff now watertight I've used that in a cellar I found it really difficult to apply but it does what it says on the tin the other one that is a really good one that gets overlooked is the all coat multi-surface primer and finish if you've got surfaces that um, efflorescence and you've got a bit of damp in there that's um, had a water leak from something and you get the salt coming out of the surface if you coat it up clean it down and coat it up with all coat multi-surface primer and finish that does what it says on the tin and when i've had particularly with my flat rentals when i've had leaks from flats above and i can't get any paint to stick and i've tried everything so don't say oh you put a coat of pva on it no don't put a coat of pva on it i've done everything you could possibly think of the only paint that doesn't give me any problems for applying and drying nicely and it is a all-in-one is the all coat um, multi-surface primer and finish now off the top of my head and we'll talk to Richard and Tim which manager and under manager this is probably about 100 quid a tin but there again what what price do you put on your own time and labor when you're fiddling around with um, paints not working so that's another one sorry rabbit it on on oh right Phil loves his all coat exterior which you can use inside right these are the ones that are uh, oil based they've got all these products they've got them in um, water based as well it sprays all coat satin um, exterior sprays lovely you've seen some of me uh, work before and I've used all coat exterior particularly again rentals and tidying up properties it goes over everything bit of a clean down dust off and you can coat up so that is a bit of a quick fix when you want a quick turnaround but it's also a very good product anyway and this um, paint well depot has 
all the paints and Zinder products that you need and um, they can mix as well, they can mix you the colours. So brilliant, all coat, right, spinning across. Right, you've got your Dulux, we spoke about that. You've got your Armstead, which is the um, little brother of um, the main Dulux trade. So that's your cheaper equivalent if you want that. And then we go across to uh, Macpherson's Eclipse Emulsion. Now this is a contract matte emulsion. I call it a false opacity paint. It's ideal if you're doing a whop out of new builds and you just want a, a cheap, um, cheap emulsion just to paint it all out. It covers well because it's a cheap false opacity paint. Now you say what's a cheap false opacity paint? The, you'll know it's a cheap false opacity paint. Don't get me wrong, it's still a very good product. If you spray it with water or get a damp sponge and wipe it, you'll find that the pigment chalkiness comes out on your sponge. It's because it's not got the, let's call it, make it simple, it's not got the vinyl content in it and the the extenders and the mixers and the, you know, all the different bits and pieces that make up a, a tin of paint. It hasn't got the expensive stuff in it to make it adhere and stick and stay where it is. Hence why, if you get it wet, get a sponge when you wallpaper in and wipe the surface it comes away but saying that Eclipse Emulsion is a very good paint if you just want to tidy up ceilings because it has um, a flat finish you get very little um, flashing with it it's not I won't I'll say it's on a par with anti-reflex too um, different league if that makes sense if you're looking for a budget paint to do a ceiling you'd probably look at that uh, and if your contractors wanting um, to be painting out um, new builds you could be looking at that contract matte eclipse emulsion so yeah I spoke about that I do like it I have used it so I'm not poo pooing it far from it uh, we've got the bigger armstead there as well so yeah it's it's one to look at so let's move on to the next bit we're back with you that was in the way and I didn't want to move it so um, what did I do I walked all the way around so Back on your contract mats with your Macpherson's, you've got your Johnson's um, contract mats as well. That's there, just spinning round. Ooh, brilliant. You got some um, Anaglypta, you've got some blown vinyls. Now these years, you know what blown vinyl is. Anybody who wants to know, just give me some comments. You got your paint scuttles now. I know people call them paint scuttles, I call them roller buckets. So you've got your small roller bucket, medium and a large. Uh, you've got your roller trays. If you're a DIY, you probably have a roller tray because you don't put too much paint in. You've got some little ones. You've got all your sundries that you could possibly ask for. More roller stuff. Now these, I'm not gonna say what we call it because it's not politically correct anymore, but what do you call these, right? Give us some comments below. It's a brush on a pole, it's dead handed to get to areas that you can't reach, but what do you call that? And see if the old um, decorators that are watching this will probably call it the same thing as what we call it. I'm not saying anymore because it's not politically correct anymore, but well, I'm saying it's not politically correct, I don't want to upset anybody, but what do you call that? What do you call these brushes? What do you call it? Right, sandpapers. You've got your lining papers you've got your lining papers there you've got 2000 you've got 1700 is that 1700 you've got 1400 to 1200 1800 um you can get these in singles doubles and quads um if they haven't got quads they'll probably get those in for you you've got your beeline tub paste now you know i'm a big advocate for the wick's own brand but i have recently used the red top um beeline wall covering paste and it's been very good thin it i call it thin it to taste um Right, wall rock. You know what wall rock is? It's the paste the wall, or you can actually paste the paper. It's the fibre lining, um, problem solving wallpaper liner. Um, back in the day, you used to use linen lining, and if you remember what linen lining was, it was a nightmare to paste. Thankfully, wall rock's now um, on the market, and it's brilliant. Um, it stops any fine cracks in ceilings coming through on wallpapers. It's like interwoven fibres and you can't rip it. It's it's really, really tight stuff, so really good. If you want to know any more, comments please. Right, coming back over to some of the sundries, the PVA, uh, we spoke about that. It's not no place for a decorator. But don't forget this place isn't just for decorators. There's the handyman. You've got your multi-trade, um, well, I don't want to say jack of all trades, but somebody that might be a property maintenance might need some PVA. And PVA has its place, but not when it comes to painting and decorating. Right, stabilizing solution. Oh, this is one of the ones that, if you've got chalky problem surfaces, 
um, particularly outside use your stabilizing solution don't get confused with stabilizing solution and alkali resisting primer two different things alkali resisting primer is obviously a primer that goes over alkali um, <sighs> the acidic walls isn't it like your bare plaster because you wouldn't put oil based paints onto bare plaster because the um, the alkali content in the surface so that would be alkali resisting primer you need for that right you've got your, your fillers brilliant trapex you pronounce it trapex don't you um, um, filler that's really good um, it's getting a good name for itself in the UK now got loads of products in that does virtually everything different product for different surfaces it's really good right we're coming across got johnny has got armstead you've got your macpherson so you're still covering all your macpherson's i'll say cheaper brand of paint no paint's really cheap anymore is it so you've got your acrylic primer undercoats you've got your acrylic eggshells you've got your oil base you've got your vinyl match you've got your vinyl silks every brand here has got its equivalent so you've got your vinyl match you've got your oil bases you've got your eggshells you've got hardware and acrylic you can see just if in doubt read the side of the tin so you've got your Leyland don't see Leyland much do you well we don't you've got your Jono's you've got your crown so crowns here crowns a big boy look how many um, companies crown own now got your sickens and your saddlings and everything like that right so you've got your quick flow brilliant stuff quick flow um, undercoats and glosses in the crown range really good paint we've used that um, when we want some awkward colors bright yellows you've got your flash I can't even say it fast flow satin um, quick dry satin I'm t I can't reiterate you've got everything under the sun if one paint doesn't suit you in one brand somebody else somebody else's paint will suit you in another now Jono's the aqua system the advanced technology we find water-based glosses haven't got that sheen level that an oil-based gloss would be this at the moment is the only one that we're actually saying is as near as you possibly can get to being like an oil-based paint it goes on like an oil-based paint and it looks like an oil-based paint i've spoke previously about a farrow and ball um, gloss being one of the highest um, acrylic contents for gloss not everybody wants to be paying um, farrow and ball money for gloss paints Jono's let's call it Jono's the Aquatech um, Aquatech the Aqua system if you've not tried it use it it is one of these undercoat and then two top coats to give you the best finish but you might get away you might actually find that you can do an undercoat and then a top coat and it's just enough depends on the situation and depends what you price for but don't mix and match don't try and think I'll put a cheaper I don't know let's just say don't think you'll put um, let's go down here don't try and get away with a cheaper acrylic primer undercoat and then come and try and put a Jono's aqua water based gloss over the top because you're going to struggle again it's hand in glove whatever the top coat is make sure you use the proper undercoat underneath the only exception to this would be if you're doing um, a changeover from oil based surfaces I don't know if you trim your woodwork or anything was oil based I like to give it a good rub down and I would probably be going over to um, Ticarilla oh, Optiv oh, sorry not Ticarilla oh, my mind's gone blank Otex Acva as a base grip primer you could use Zinza 123 I like to put a grip primer coat over previously oil based surfaces to then move over to water based and that is just how I like to do it people will say oh no you don't need to do that quite possibly you don't but for peace of mind I don't want water based paints peeling away and that's the thing peeling away from previously oil based old oil based surfaces so that's me a little bit of a tip on a Tuesday for you rub down and give a grip coat first but again that's my personal preference but Phil Beckwith is always right isn't he well possibly right you've got your masonry paints you've got your jewelry leg shells I've not seen it yet but I should think they've got your floor paints because that will be um, again hand in glove with all that Al here you go alkali resisting primer you're going to say Phil when do you need alkali resisting primer well it's for chalking surfaces but back in the day when I was at college if you had new bare plaster walls and you did want to paint them in an oil, an oil eggshell you couldn't put oil based paint straight onto bare plaster or plaster surfaces you'd have to put an alkali resisting primer 
over that bare plaster first because it's alkali resistant because the surface of the plaster is alkali because if you didn't and you went over with an oil based paint you'd get it um, let's call the word saponification that's going to be a good one for you on a Tuesday morning saponification it's where the oil base doesn't dry and it goes very cheesy and you could get your nail and you could scrape it off and that's because of the reaction between the oils in the paint and the alkali in the surface hence why you would coat up your bare plaster with alkali resisting primer so yeah top tip Tuesday for that alkali resisting primer thankfully we don't do a lot of painting kitchens out or utility rooms or anything like that now with um, oil-based paints we've moved on there's an equivalent water-based for anything oil-based nowadays which again when I was back at college like 30 years ago they said by the year 2000 we would actually get away with all oil-based paints which we've still got them now right next row wood care so you've got your saddlings I won't dwell too much on this because I don't want to bore you you've got all your saddlings treatments you've got your spirit based the oil bases that's masonry paint so we just talk about these so you've got saddling and then you've got your sickens now sickens is under the dulux brand because that's the axco noble back in the day when crown actually owned sickens um a brilliant product and then dulux came in axco noble and then bought up crown oh, i don't want to be controversial on the south i think they took all the best products from crown and took sickens with them and kept sickens and then sold crown on and um crown had a company buyout and well oh, the rest history right oh down here brilliant this is probably one of the best oil-based paints for outside Rubol Sutura. Um Sutura, that's yeah. Yeah, Rubol. Yeah, you've got Sutura, which is your satiny based finish, oil-based, and then you've got your Rubol XD. Now XD is an outside paint. AX is an interior paint, they're glosses. Now I have used that inside. The stuff stinks. It, it's a brilliant gloss it's proper let's call it 10 downing street gloss gloss it's brilliant gloss oil based but it stinks inside hence why it's more suitable for outside the az very good gloss that can be used inside oil based but rubo primer use that as your first um, coat and then your two your two top coats either with rubo satura which is your satin finish or you could do rubo xd again oil based so you can be outside with that right i spoke about retail paints these are retail paints you have got a dog on the side so if you do want cheap and cheerful one coat paints or um, non-drip glosses thixotropic is the word for non-drip gloss they're all there so they have got some retail paints now thixotropic when you open that you won't you won't be mixing that you won't put a mixing stick in there if you did put a mixing stick in it the thixotropic jelliness of the paint you'd whip it up and it would suddenly go to a liquid again but no you don't mix um, thixotropic paint and that's the word thixotropic again what did i go to college for so i could tell you what thixotropic is yeah so non-drip gloss there is some retail paints here as well right weathertex this is a uk company this is a new one i don't want to talk too much about this because weathertex is a, a uk brand they do masonry paints check it out if you want to have a look on their website but this is something i want to be um reviewing later on this year so i don't want to speak speak too much about this product they've got it all there they've got the flexi coat and the bits and pieces so this is something that's going to come up it's an exterior paint coating so yeah paint well have weather techs and that's a new product coming out um if you've used it brilliant if not like me i'll do a review on that later this year so just whizzing down to here you've got your santex which we love santex as an exterior paint and they've got it all there they'll have the three six oh yeah it is three six five that's your really all weather stuff uh, yeah 20p maximum extreme exposure i take it the extreme exposure is the one that they do do on um lighthouses no very good paint not cheap but there again you get what you pay for quality remembered long after price is forgot so you've got all your 
Santex, you've got your Ron Seal varnishes, you've got your oil based and you've got your water based, you've got your Ron Seal wood fillers, your two pack wood fillers, you've got your, your spirit based ones that dry really quickly, I think they're the spirit ones and not the water based, um, you'll tell when you open if it smells a bit spirity, you've got your Thompson's water seals, you've got your fence, oh brilliant, you know when I'm doing my fences with my sprayer, we've got it there, we've got the Cuprinol stuff, you've got your shade so when you come to um, do your fence and your garden furniture painting up this spring, you've got it all there. And Fence Life Plus. Now I've used that on some sleepers in my garden this when we've had it landscaped because oh, did you know we had a garden landscaped over lockdown? Yeah, I've used it. I've used the black. Now I would say it went on very nice, it gave it three coats. I've noticed it coming way i.e. wearing i'm going to be interested to see how it stands up when i give it another coat in the spring because it's nice to just refresh everything um for the start of the season for barbecuing season oh let's do a bit of a link in that corner on how to do barbecue in a turkey yeah i think it's that corner there or that corner yeah i've done that for you so we're covering everything we've got your wood treatments you've got your protections you've got your you name it it's here and you've got your 10 litre tubs, you've got your dust sheets, you've got your step up hop ups, paste tables, oh you know what I'm like with paste tables, my Mickey Mouse paste tables but nobody seems to want to be doing proper paste tables anymore. Right, you've got your Santex, your big, look at this, is that a good price? Are these good prices? You tell me. So look at this, look at the size of this place. It's got everything. Here's one of the um, reps. We call you the rep, is he? Yes. Easy. We call him Izzy Easy. Yes. So he's down to help you if you um, need any um, advice on any paints and products. Yeah. Come so anytime. I'm a level four decorator. Level four decorator. And uh, yeah, it's a new spot, obviously. So. We have over 3,000 products. 3,000 products. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is about 3,000 products. Uh, we're going to try and see if we can do delivery within the hour. So if you call us, you got anything, you need anything, we can deliver it, obviously, because we got a van, which is good as well if you're on project or you need to, I don't know, get it delivered to the customer before yeah. you come there. We can always do that. But uh, yeah, there's a wide range of products yeah. as you can see, all in one spot, which is good as well. That it is, yeah. And I'm looking, look, knotting. A lot of people go, oh, don't use knotting anymore. Well, you've got white knotting, you've got painted knotting, obviously the dark one. Two coats of knotting is brilliant. It um, does stop the knots coming through. Don't always have to use Zinza um, bin for knotting, a shellac base, but that is what you can see my videos and um, when we've done knotting before and um, knotting bottles. We've got everything. We've got peel away, we've got strippers. Well, no, we haven't got stripper strippers, sorry, but we've got paint, we've got paint strippers peel away uh, one and then there's a peel away seven I've used that um, I'll try and link some photos of us using that where it was on a grade one church in Nottingham where we stripped the doors uh, we've got the Otwell um, uh, products that you rust inhibiting primers and paints and the wood finishes and bits and pieces they're brilliant I've not used this but this is something I want to um, try out this year as well Sure about this. I've never used this, but um, it looks new and yeah, for damp paint conditioning, conditioning. Um, strength, yeah, paint conditioning, yeah. So we've got everything down here. And if I spin round, we've got the Osmo oils. We've got all the Osmo oils. So folks who like using the Osmo, uh, oh, Polyvine. We love Polyvine. Let's um, do your link in the top corner to using Polyvine products. Marble in a bath. We've got the Kuvar, we've got the floor paints, we've got all the anti-condensation paints, anti-slip paints, graffiti removers, we've got everything. As I said, it's a one-stop shop for everything you want. Oh, we've got acid etch primer. Oh, when do you use acid etch primer, Phil? Oh, acid etch primer. If you've got galvanised um, galvanized sheets and things like that, problems where you can't get metal primer 
to um, actually stick to the surface use an edge primer and in effect that is an edge primer so we should be all right lining paints we've got everything there we've got the bed out products now you remember again top corner there'll be a bit of a, a link to my, my product test of Bedek over um, it was the MSP paint which is down there multi surface paint um, Bedek product on a UPVC panel very 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 impressed with that watch that because the um, results were quite interesting that was a uh, French chic Bedek and um, Zinza so we've got all the barn paints and um, all the different colours. We've got the oh, the Ad, Acura Advance. We've got the undercoats. We've got the glosses and bits and pieces like that. We're covering everything. And then, yeah, multi-surface paint. Thanks, um, Easy. That's okay. Thank you for that. I've yes. taken back over. <laughs> right, yeah. And then we've got the floor paints. We've got the multi-surface paints. We've got the armsteads all there. And then if I come around the back where the cafeteria area is, we've got all your other... We've got all your other crown paints as well, and we've got all the bases. We're covering everything. And here's all your mixers for your Ticarillas if you're needing to mix anything up. And they've even got Optiva Colour. Brilliant. Optiva Colour. You're going to say, what's Optiva Colour, Phil? It's like the just an ordinary matte emulsion. So we've got everything there. So let's um, call that a day there, and we'll just move around to the other side and finish off. So here we are in the um, the main mixing hub. We've got all the mixers for the colorants, the Ticarilla. We've got a shaky machine. Shaky, shaky, shaky like a Polaroid picture. Crown mixing machine. We've got the Farron Ball tinters and mixers as well for the Farron Ball machine. And then we come over to the Dulux. Now, if I spin round, can you see these? They're even getting a supply of grey coat spray equipment and they've got Merca stuff. Now, you know, I'm into my sprayers, so there's a, can you see that there? There's a three. 390 we've got a GX FF we've got the handheld and we've got a GX 21 these are all good sprays if you're just getting into spraying I've got a GX FF which is just exactly the same as a GX 21 it's just differences one's got a hopper on it one hasn't one's got a 7.5 meter hose which is the GX FF for fine finishing uh, it goes up to a one um, a 19 of a spray tip if you want to know about spray tips another link in the corner uh, whereas the GX um, 21 goes up to a 0.21 spray tip and the only difference between the machines is the pumps are exactly the same it all comes down to the hose length because the GX 21's got a 15 meter hose which is a bigger pipe compared to the GX FF which is a smaller pipe which is obviously is the difference in what spray tips you can use but this is something that Tim which is over there sold me when he worked for Dulux in Nottingham he was the one that sorted me out with a really good price on a GX FF and now he's working here give us a wave Tim is the one that you want to speak to if you want to know about spray equipment um, and again it can sort you out good prices on the spray equipment and if you've got any questions other than asking me and putting comments and saying Phil give us some advice on spray equipment you speak to Tim because Tim knows all about um, spray equipment yeah it's there yeah it's not just a pretty face hello Tim Tim that's Richard the manager and under manager and under manager Tim but again Tim because I've known Tim what a good 10 years probably from Dulux in Nottingham he's moved over to bring his expertise to Paintwell which is brilliant and that's why I got the phone call to say come down and have a look before we properly open and um, see what you think which I think it's brilliant that you've got everything here Tim also sorted me out with my Merca stuff and we've got quite a bit of Merca as well. So yeah, 
the discussions are to be, to be there, to be had for getting your best prices, and that's what it's all about. You might say you can go somewhere else and get a better price, but that's um, that's what you need to discuss because it's all about profit and money on your materials that you can buy to make your money for doing the job that you're doing. And I'm going to spin you around on that note, and let's just have a quick natter. So I'm here, let's just touch on that. If you're new into painting and decorating, you don't make a lot of money on materials, do you? So the key is, you come to somewhere like this, whether it be Dulux in Nottingham, whether it be Brewers, whether it be Jono's, you need to get the best prices you possibly can for the paints that you're buying. Even if it's only a 5%, it might be a 10%, you might even get 20% discount on some things. You don't charge the customer the prices that you're buying at. Charge the customer out at the retail prices. If that is, excluding that, if that's 30 quid plus your VAT, don't charge the customer what you're buying it at. You get that as cheap as you can with your trade discounts. And if you make a couple of quid, you're on a winner. Don't give customers your prices. And that's why there's a trade price and a retail price. Charge your customer retail price. You're not robbing them. You're not trying to rip them off or anything because that is the price that they'd be paying if they, they came in here. You're getting your discounts at places like Paintwell. You're getting your discounts to help you. If you want to give a discount to your customer on your paint, that's up to you. But come on, we're in it to make money. Work smarter, not harder. The only difference is if we're looking at Farrow and Ball, well, we're banging our head against a brick wall with that one, aren't we? We don't get anything off Farrow and Ball, but that's the exclusiveness of Farrow and Ball. Some people use it. I love Farrow and Ball, and I'll use Farrow and Ball as much as I possibly can. But for us, Ticarilla, Crown, everything's here, and we can come down and get it. You've got your corks, you've got your rollers, you've got your sleeves. The only thing I've not seen, and I do, do know, that they do have on their website Arrowworthy brushes which will be one that they'll probably bring into this branch soon because Arrowworthy now you've got your Axis no Arrowworthy that'll be one that will come in because it is on their website that they do do them and um, I'd also like to see um, Eco Union that would tick a box for me because Eco Union brushes on a four inch are beautiful I've spoke about that on previous videos but we've got everything here. Here's, here's these brushes again. Is anybody going to actually say what you call this brush? No, probably not. Roller poles, you've got your purdies, you've got... You're covering everything. If you're a DIYer, there's the paints and the products here for you to get set up. If you're a house renovator, there's everything you want. You've got wall brushes, you've got wetting in brushes, you've even got the bags to put everything in. Merca Sanders. I think I'm covering everything. I think we've gone over 10 minutes. I reckon a few adverts can be put on this video, can't they? I bet YouTube put some adverts on this video because we're over 10 minutes. But no, I'm going to say thanks um, to the guys down here. Richard's in the back office, he's the manager. You've got Izzy, who's got four years, um, many years of training as a painter and decorator. Tim's been in the decorating retail trade for a long while now because I've known him a long while and um, Richard also so if you've got any questions about paint products you ask me or you can ask them and we'll give you advice but no this isn't an endorsed video nobody's paying me for being down here for me this is ticking a box that we've got on my doorstep in Nottingham a retailer handy to us again on my doorstep that is selling everything that we're wanting and the biggest thing for us it's got Dulux Ticarilla Ticarilla is the one you want to be using if you've not used Ticarilla before and you're in Nottingham come down and check it out if you're not in Nottingham and you've got a, a paint well near you because there are branches popping up all over there's a few more in Nottingham going to be opening soon um, Probably around in, I should think there's probably going to be one in Lincoln, Leicester, Derby, Leicester, Lincoln and Nottingham. Let's cover it like Radio Nottingham does. Derby, Leicester, Lincoln and Nottingham. That would be ideal. East Midlands, covering everything. And this is your one-stop shop. So I'm going to say thanks for listening to me. It's probably been half an hour, 40 minutes of talking through a paint shop. But I have discussed some paints 
and where to use paints we've covered a bit of everything and this has got everything for you and this is what you need to be looking at when you go to your paint supplier have they got the products that you want when you want it and for me we're covering everything here aren't we it's a bit it's a bit like a brewers brewers have got most stuff brewers don't have ticarilla and that's why i'm down here now so yeah brewers have got a lot of stuff got spray equipment you've got um dulux that do a lot of stuff they have spray equipment crown they're all they're all a much of a muchness but are they supplying you with the paints that you want or the paints that you want to be trying i think the only thing we're missing here some qt5 um, hvlp spray equipment because we all need remote parts and we all need needles from time to time so i think tim would be able to get us anything like that when we need a new spray needle but that is something that could probably go into the future so on that we're going to say over and out thanks for listening to me waffling on and um, i'll see you down here when they have an open day in the next coming few weeks and months bacon cobs hot chocolate possibly well quite quite possibly because over the other side of the road we're having a bird's bakery being built apparently so um you can come down get a hot chocolate and a sausage roll all oh, we need is a greg's it's all we <laughs> so that could be here so over and out and i'll see you on the next one thanks for listening bye bye <laughs> cheesy music time <laughs> if you like your bit of a gizmo tim's going to show us something on this demo board he's laughing tim's going to show us on this demo board for heritage what you can do because i've seen this i thought this was a covid scan your covid you know your your phone for your scanning your code it's nothing to do with that tim says look at this so tim's got some color cards out the one of the well, popular colors right and look at this just button in it's got a velvet background velvet map <laughs> right uh, so what do you do tim dh oxford blue one of the popular colors at the moment put it on the scanner and it shows you all the colours that we suggest that Oxford Blue goes with. Right, so you scan your colour from the colour palette chart boards here onto the scanner and this screen brings you the colour up and all the complementary and colours that go with that colour to help you design your room out. Now if my room looked like that, I'd just go with what it looks like now, wouldn't you? It looks beautiful. beautiful. So there you go. And this is what we've got down at the paint well paint merchants so come down and check it out